One of the most common requests that I get from clients is, can we upload my custom font to Squarespace? And you would think that this is like a super easy thing to do. You'd think that Squarespace would have this area where you can just upload your font file and say, make this the font for heading size one, heading size two, polygraph, etc. It seems like such a simple thing to add, but it isn't. So what we have to do is add some lines of code. Now it's not overly complicated, but this is the only way to do it. So I'm gonna take you through step-by-step step on exactly how to do it. So we wanna add custom fonts to Squarespace. This is where we do it. So I've already pre-populated the code. What we have here is our font face. So this is where we actually give our font a name and then we give the source URL. So where we're actually grabbing that font file from. Then here is me specifying H1, H2, H3, H4, P, which is where we're applying our custom font to. So let's make sense of this. The font family, let's call this Sherman. Then in URL, what we need to do is go into our custom files in the CSS and we want to upload a font file. So I've got the font called Sherman here. You can literally upload any font that you want as long as it's a TTF or an OTF file. So I'm going to upload this file now. And then what we want to do is click on it. And that gives us the URL. Then, so I'm targeting all of the fonts here. What we want to do is say, okay, font family, let's change this to Sherman. And you can see that changes our font. And it'll change that all the way down here. If I just wanted that to apply to this, let's just see what size it is. H1. So if I just wanted this to apply to H1, I would take out all of this and just leave H1. And then you could see that it won't apply to anything else. And then you can do this with tons and tons of different fonts. So let's say you wanted to upload a second font. We would take this and beneath there, we would say, okay, let's call this Sherman 2. We would change the URL. So we take that out first. We go down to our custom files and we'll upload a second font file. So let's just do the italic version. Then we click. So the URL resides within the, within the quotation marks. And then I want to apply it to, let's say, just paragraph font. So let's just take this, go down here, and we'll change H1 to P. Now that's changed it at the minute to Sherman, but we want to change it to Sherman 2. And you can see that's changed. So it's as simple as that. And you can customize this for anything. So you can put H1, H2, H3, H4, etc. You can customize the font in buttons, in the header up here, you can do basically anything you want. So you're not confined to the Adobe fonts that Squarespace provides. If you have something truly custom that you want to upload, whilst it may not be super obvious how to do it, you absolutely can upload it in the CSS area. And if you did find this useful, please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe, and check out all of the resources in the description below.